What can I say? Uh, my head's spinning after reading this chapter. <laughs> I can't think of a, a better chapter to start off reviewing manga uh, than with uh, Attack on Titan chapter 119. So uh, let's go over some of the main points. Obviously, Eren is quote-unquote dead. Uh, personally, I don't think he's going to die, or if he's going to die, he's going to essentially carry out his plan you know because that's kind of a theme with Aaron over the years it's been he's got that whole indomitable will kind of thing going on so even if he's just a severed head he's gonna figure out a way to uh, get what he wants essentially obviously that puts uh, the Jaegerist faction at a disadvantage in this whole uh, three-way struggle that's currently going on you know it's uh, when you lose younger Jaeger it's you know <laughs> it's gonna cause a problem <laughs> no but let's go back to the the beginning of the chapter and uh, take a look so Obviously, Zeke does scream despite Falco uh, ingesting his uh, spinal fluid. And uh, obviously, that does cause some questions in Zeke's mind. But at the end of the day, he does go through with it. But it does work out for Falco as uh, he essentially is going to eat Reiner. But then he ends up eating Porco. And it's a whole dealio with the memories and you know, paths and whatnot. No, but uh, in general, I'd say j tentative win for uh, the outside world and Marley because we don't know if Aaron is dead or not. But I'd I'd be willing to bet that. At the end of the day, Aaron's gonna, he's gonna get what he wants. He's gonna essentially sterilize all of the Eldians, which, you know, it's probably not the first way you should go about trying to cause peace in the world, but, you know, he's a little bit of a hothead, so he's, he's gonna do it, <laughs> essentially. Uh, another big point of the chapter is that Reiner is still, you know, he's not, <laughs> he's not that good at surviving, and he's still somehow saved by uh, Porco's older brother, Marco, or whatever his name is, Marcel, it's Marcel. Uh, Isayama forgets Marco, it doesn't really matter. Point is that he's saved again. <laughs> you know, not an knock so much on him but like come on dude you got saved a lot <laughs> uh, no, and then obviously you have uh, the squad going around cleaning up uh, you know supporting Aaron even if they're like not entirely um, you know supportive of the end goal I think the general idea of peace is more what they're focusing on. They don't agree with the whole sterilization plan, but they're going to go through with it because, you know, it is their friend and, you know, it's going to, you know, make sure that the people that they care about don't end up you know, just dying because they're aliens. But, uh... In general, highlight of the chapter, highlight character, I should say, Eren, of course, you know. When you take on the Armored Titan and the Jaw Titan while being sniped at by the Cart Titan, obviously, you know, that's a pretty huge feat. I mean, granted, Eren does have three uh, Titan powers, but, you know, still indomitable will, man. Uh... He manages to encase Reiner's arm in his hardening with, via his hardening as sort of like a deception plan, which I thought was a, a nice touch. And obviously, he's seemingly dead, but personally, I don't think he's going to end up dead for too long. You know, he, yeah. Low light character of the chapter. This honestly just goes to Gabby because she ended up 
killing quote unquote Aaron, and she's still you know under the whole Marley and in propaganda thing, which at this point she should really have figured out by now that they're not bad people, and there's like not really a point <laughs> in uh, trying to destroy Paradise Island because the Marleyans are just gonna treat you terribly anyways. Uh, let's see here. So characters to watch in future chapters, obviously whatever Zeke does with Aaron's head or body or whatever, it's gonna directly impact both the livelihood of Aaron as well as uh, the fate of the world as a whole. Uh, another character to watch is obviously Falco because he is now uh, the inheritor of the Jaw Titan. But it's not so much him directly, it's what he does to affect the story because going back to how uh, Eren used the Jaw Titan to uh, absorb the power of the Warhammer Titan, potentially Eren does the same thing or Aaron or his successor, Zeke potentially, does the same thing with Annie or Annie somehow gets freed and gets reintroduced back into the story. At this point, that is the only way she gets reintroduced back into the story. So, prediction time. What do I think is going to happen in the next upcoming chapters? I predict that Aaron is somehow going to rebuild his body uh, using Zeke or Zeke's knowledge, or Zeke is going to somehow help Aaron regrow his body via that whole thing he did with the last time after his uh, showdown with Levi. And that's going to, you know, allow the, a rumbling to occur and potentially going to give Aaron full access to his founding titan powers if he uses Zeke's body as a base to do the whole regeneration thing but at the end of the day it could cause dual consciousness within Aaron such that you know you have Aaron as like the main head essentially but in the background you have Zeke speaking to so he doesn't quote unquote die in the story and uh, this would allow uh Aaron to have access to four Titan powers uh, with the addition of the Beast. But that that's just more of my own personal theory that, you know, Aaron's going to end up with, like, all the Titan powers at the, the end of the series, and um, essentially they all get transferred down the line until eventually the, uh, the Eldians cease to exist because of the whole sterilization plan. And then... Uh, it's either that or the most obvious path forward is that Marley just wins, recaptures the founding Titan, and just gets the heck out of there, and uh, they're all wiped out. But I personally don't see that happening because that just that just seems like such a lame <laughs> ending to the series. But, you know, let's move into uh, Titan Holder Wrap-Up just so that everyone's clear on uh, where all of our titan powers are currently uh, laid out at this point so obviously Aaron has uh, the founding the attack and the uh, warhammer titans uh, zeke still is in the possession of the beast titan reiner despite almost dying and basically resigning himself to death is still the holder of the armor titan uh, obviously falco has just inherited the jaw titan uh, Cart Titan's the same. Annie is still in the crystal. I don't even know why you need to mention her. She's been there for like a thousand chapters. And then Armin, uh, obviously Colossal Titan. But uh, I think that is going to wrap up this review of Attack on Titan chapter 119. Uh, uh, hope to do uh, reviews in the future. Have a good day.